Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Mini Paint, a browser-based image editor, in Docker. To get started, connect to the device where we're going to run Docker. We'll start by installing a few prerequisite packages required to run Docker. Next, we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. Now using apt install, we'll install docker, docker compose, and containerd. With the docker packages installed, we'll make sure the docker service is started and enabled. Add the current user to the docker group. Then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. Now we're ready to start creating containers. We'll start by increasing the file system max user watches value, then output the value to make sure the change took effect. Next, we'll create our working directory structure, then clone the latest release of MiniPaint from GitHub. We'll change directory to our working directory, then check out the latest tagged release. Now we'll edit the webpack config file and add a value in the dev server section to allow all hosts. Save the changes to webpack config, then close out of nano. Now we'll create a docker file to instruct docker on how to create our image. Paste the contents of docker file from the video description, then save your changes and close out of nano. Next, we'll use the docker build command to create a mini paint docker image using the docker file we just created. Once docker build completes, we can use docker run to create a new container utilizing the image we just created. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the docker host, colon 8080. Welcome to MiniPaint, running containerized in docker.